Do not buy protein powder if you're looking to improve protein synthesis in the human body. Stay tuned and I'm gonna tell you why. Do you think your protein powder is giving you the nutrients and the amount of protein that you actually need? Well, think again. Our body's never designed to take up these proteins, whether it's animal proteins or plant proteins. The human body basically breaks down these proteins, regardless of the source, into their constituent amino acids. And then our body then uses those amino acids to make human proteins that we incorporate to build muscle, to build bone, to create enzymes that basically improve our metabolic function. But if you look at the uh, back label of this, this protein here, uh, this organic whey protein, which comes from grass-fed beef, contains about 18 amino acids with the known uh, amount, quantity of each. This plant-based organic protein doesn't really itemize the amino acids, so you don't know which amino acids you're getting in how much quantity, and again, it's really the amino acids from the proteins that we consume that's important. And we must get all 21 essential amino acids and other amino acids in order for the human body to incorporate those into making human protein. The other thing is organic. You know, organic is, I, can, I think uh, there's a lot of misunderstanding around organic. We've been trained and conditioned by the media over the past 20, 30 years to only buy organic. But in the US, to get an organic label, there's certain restrictions. Number one, no herbicides and pesticides. That's a good thing. Number two, in terms of organic vegetables, there's no fertilizer allowed to be applied to the soil, no standardized nitrogen-based fertilizers. And so without standardization of nitrogen in the soil, you really have a deficiency of many nutrients and vitamins, including inorganic nitrate. And then there's soy. Again, pea protein, soy. Again, soy is a protein made up of different amino acids than pea, than animal protein. The other important consideration is price. You know, the cheapest product typically is not your best product. So premiumly priced products are premiumly priced because there's a lot of research and development and to maintain the nutrient density and the bioactivity of the supplement requires a little bit more care, which typically associated with higher cost. So I always recommend just getting your protein directly from the source, whether it's um, protein from meat, it could be animal meats, beef, chicken, lamb, even seafood, or for the vegetarians and vegans out there, there's a rich protein source uh, from vegetables. But that's unaltered, it's in its natural form, it's coming directly from the, from the land, and then we consume it, and there's no processing. So in terms of protein, I always recommend that you get the protein directly from the foods you eat. There's really, I mean, this is kinda, if you're protein deficient, this is a way to do it, but again, pay attention to the labels and also understand that making that protein in a finished, powdered form is affecting the protein structure, it denatures it, and many evaporative processes and drying processes actually deplete this product of, of many nutrients. So I hope this has been helpful. Uh, again, become educated, be an informed consumer, because nothing is more important than your health.